Hello and welcome once again to Kitchen Corrections. Um, guys, uh, it, it, uh, you're, you're actually supposed to do is. Uh, uh, actually, uh, that's not how you were uh, supposed to do it. It's a segment where I go after prominent YouTube chefs and um, correct any little oopsies they might have made. And okay, technically she's not a YouTube chef, but I can't ignore this for too long. We're going to talk about Rachel Ray and her pozole recipe. You know, as a comedy connoisseur myself, I can't help but notice that some of my favorite comedians were bringing up Rachel Ray as a punchline. At first, I really didn't get it. I thought it was just epic movie style humor where reference equals joke. Then I discovered, no. Epic movie is to comedy what Rachel Ray is to cooking. Rachel Ray whitewashes at best and bastardizes at worst. Oh, and uh, by the way, Remember this uh, Uncle Roger clip I used in my Wagyu Bento episode? Hi, uh... Well, that clip was from Uncle Roger reviewing Rachel Ray's terrible pho video. No, 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 what's she do? What's she doing? No! And, as it turns out, I'm not the only one who has beef with her. Celebrity chefs like Martha Stewart, Emeril Lagasse, and personal hero of mine, Anthony Bourdain, pretty much have nothing nice to say about Rachel. Don't believe me? Let me quote him. We know she can't cook. She shrewdly tells us so. She's selling us satisfaction, the smug reassurance that mediocrity is quite enough. God, I'm beginning to understand why Bourdain ended it all. So, what's wrong with Rachel Ray's pozzoli recipe? What's right? That's the shorter answer. I don't know where to begin. She uses hominy, but also pinto and black beans. The fact that she uses beer in the recipe, but the worst part of it all is that it's vegan. There's nothing vegan about real pozole. If the new stupid ass neo pronoun Latin X was a food, this is pretty much what it would be. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reverse the damage she caused. I'm gonna show you people how to make real pozole. Now, the base of our pozole will be a nice pork stock. So grab yourself a nice big ass pot. And it has to be big because we're gonna be putting a ton of ingredients in here. First ingredient, pork. Eight pounds of pork shoulder. Okay, we're not using some sort of sissy vegan pre-made stock. Okay, real pozole is made with pork. I swear, there's so much pork in Mexican cooking. I'm surprised ISIS has an alud akbar Mexico back to the Aztec days. So let's toss in our pork into our stock pot. Oh, and uh, I'm half Lebanese. I can make, I can joke about it. Next, our vegetable melody. Side note, vegetable melody is what my Facebook uncle calls the Special Olympics. Anyway, into the pot, we toss in one and a half onions, about four to six big carrots, About four to six big carrots. And one medium sized stalk of celery. Two. You might have to break it up to fit the pot, that's fine. And finally, three bay leaves. Now submerge everything in water by an inch or two. All right, next bring our pot to the stove and set it to a boil. Okay, once it comes up to a boil, reduce the heat down to low and let that simmer for three hours. And after three hours, strain our stock through a colander and separate the pork from the vegetables. Okay, with the stock taken care of, we can now move on to phase two, and that is the actual soup. Next up, grab some chilies. And yes, actual chilies not chili powder. On this plate, I have three ounces of ancho chilies, two ounces of wajillo chilies, and for some spice, three chili de arbols. 
first thing you gotta do is de-stem and de-seed these, which I took the liberty of already doing. Hey, read the title of the channel. If you don't know how to de-seed a chili, that's kinda on you. So with all of our chilies de-seeded, add them to a bowl. Uh, okay, the water's still boiling. I should have timed this better. We're now three. Then cover it in boiling water. And uh, let that soak in for a bit. Okay, our chilies are done steeping. Now let's add them to a high powered blender. All right, chilies are in. Next, let's add seven cloves of garlic and add half of our steeping liquid to the blender. Blend it till smooth. Then to get rid of any seeds, let's filter it through a mesh strainer. Uh, this is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna jump cut this. This is taking too long. All right, there we go. All nice and smooth and seedless. All right, and now let's take care of the pork. Remove our pork from the strained vegetables and shred it to pieces. I want to try to separate the fat pieces from the meat. Now, this is like a carnivore version of stone cold ice cream. And now here's where everything comes together, just like... No, I'm gonna get them monetized. We have here on the stove a large stock pot filled up with our broth. Okay, first thing we gotta do, let's add our chili sauce. Then let's add five pounds or one giant ass can of Mexican hominy. Make sure you rinse it well before you add it. Let's also add in our shredded pork. Oh no, we have one more piece of porky goodness to add. Now, some pozzoli recipes use pig knuckle or pig's feet it's yummy gelatinous and it triggers the normies even harder. One problem, Pig Nuggle is very bony and I don't want to break my teeth as I sit and enjoy my pozole. So instead, we're going with about uh, two pounds of pork belly. So um, excuse me one moment. Okay, I brought back the big pot. Hopefully it doesn't overflow because we are gonna add our spices. Three tablespoons of cumin. Two tablespoons of chicken base. And uh, here's the only thing Rachel Ray got right in her recipe, Mexican oregano. But listen, you don't have to crumple it up. It's all gonna get devoured anyway. Anyway, use a tablespoon and a half of Mexican oregano. Let's add two and a half teaspoons of salt. And one teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, and uh, notice how I didn't put any sugar in there, okay? If you want sweetness, just stick with the hominy. Bring this to a boil over high heat. Okay, once it hits the boil, reduce the heat down to medium low and let that simmer for 90 minutes. Do you get it, Nintendo? Quit rehashing Mario Kart 8 and give us a proper sequel for once. Okay, 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 let's not start another beef in this video. All right, after 90 minutes, our pozzoli is ready. Serve it in a bowl, top it off with radishes, cilantro, and start chowing down. And once you perfect pozole, you can move on to its cousin, menudo. Don't know what that is? Well, let's just say it's so hardcore Mexican that not even gringos like Rachel Ray can stomach it. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. 
Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, that little hissy noise you were hearing the whole time, that's, uh, that's not going off in the background. That's efficiency, my lads. Efficiency. <laughs>